Good evening. Welcome to the Capital Area School for the Arts Charter School's fifth commencement ceremony. We are excited and proud to celebrate this night with so many friends and family. Now we ask those of you that are able to stand for our national anthem sung by Bianca Ortiz Colon, a 2018 graduating senior. Oh, say can you stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Thank you, Bianca. Thank you. You may be seated. Now please participate in the invocation with our graduates. Let us pray. For the gift of this place, CASA, these grads, and their families, we give you thanks. We ask for your blessing on each and every graduating student today. May they find what makes them come alive and live in that reality wherever they go. May they live their lives as gifts to be freely given, and may they offer much grace and much peace to all they meet, their families, their friends, their communities, and all their neighbors, both near and far. Grace and peace to everyone. Thank you. I would like to welcome Mr. Timothy Welling, Catholic Charter School CEO and Principal to the podium. So before I begin my speech, I just wanted to tell all the parents out there that this is our fifth year having a graduation ceremony, and your kiddos were by far the best behaved during the rehearsal. So <laughs> you've done a good job. And I appreciate that. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cass's graduation ceremony. Tonight is truly a celebration of this enormously talented group of students. During their time at Casa Charter School, these students have read the words, create yourself, over and over again, on the walls outside the building, on the school website, and on the letterhead. Even on their Casa sweatshirts, it reminds them to create themselves. And wow, have your kids ever done that? Check out the tops of their caps when you leave. You'll see how creative they are. If you have been to any of our performances or shows, you have seen some of the most creative artwork in the capital region. We've seen our dancers and actors grace the stage with their talents, and we've been moved by thought-provoking movies that our film students have created, and we've been inspired by the words of our creative writers. We've listened to our musicians breathe life into their instruments and voices, and we've seen our visual artists create masterpieces that truly reflect the character of themselves. Create yourself. Our students have done that, both academically and artistically, and we're so excited to send them out into this world after tonight. Students, as you go out into the world, 
You are strong and you are confident in your talents and your skills. We call on you to continue creating yourselves. But as you do that, take a good hard look at the world around you. You're going to see people who have chosen to create themselves in ways that we would not want to define ourselves. How do you want to define yourself? When you log onto social media, you'll see people tearing each other down. You'll see the spread of negativity. You might be discouraged by the words of somebody close to you who wants to define you on their own terms. But how do you want to define yourself? In this time of not so civil discourse, how can you create yourself to bring forth positive change and be a role model for others and the kind of citizen that our country needs? Your artwork is part of the creation of you. Your words are part of that creation as well. How you treat other people is part of the creation of you. As I look out fondly at this group of 51 graduates, I see 51 individuals who have the potential to contribute so much to this world. The tests of time have shown that the arts and humanity go hand in hand. Your talents and your art are going to be powerful tools in your contribution to humanity in the years that lie ahead. Those of you who are moving on to careers that might not include your art, do not think for one second that your life experience as an artist has not contributed to your world views, to your deepest thoughts, to the creation of yourself. I've watched all of you grow so much over your time here at CASA, and it is my biggest hope that you all can find a way to create yourself beyond these walls as the great men and women and as the leaders and community members who will always reflect on the values, opinions, thoughts, and concerns of other people in the same manner you have been taught to look at art through open eyes, open minds, and open hearts. I know that you're going to be amazing. The entire staff here is so proud of the self that you have all created. And we look forward to seeing where your paths take you from here. CNN's Jake Tapper said it best in his graduation speech at Dartmouth College. Don't just work hard at your job. Work hard at everything. Work hard at being a friend. Work hard at being a partner, at being a son, at being a daughter, at being a grandchild, and being a steward in your community. And at the caring people around you who have not had a day as exciting as yours is today. It has been a wonderful year, and I wish you all the best of luck as you move on from here. You'll notice my speech tonight is fairly short, and that's because we have eight amazing students who volunteered to speak. I told them they needed to submit their speech to me, and I would pick a couple. They were all so good and captured the essence of our school, I could not say no to any of them. So I cut my, my speech short so they could speak, because that's what really matters. So congratulations, class of 2018. Good luck and best wishes. Our first student speaker is Ben Miller. Good evening. I'd like to start off by saying that each of us continually in our lives search for that which advances our passions that urge. Progress, forward movement, has enabled me to access this momentum. Now, it's changed, as I hope it does with everyone. And if you look at me in my freshman year, walking into the school with heavy flowing aspirations, you'd see a boy who has worlds to learn. A boy who would be shaped by the encounters and experiences given to him directly through this school. Now what's moved me past the persistent anguish and hardships of life is that urge within me. That transitioning, I want to make videos, I want to create poetry, I want to write movies, provide insight. That I don't want to stop until I've reached the greatness that I believe I am capable of, urge. And it's that urge that has pushed me to save up for a camera and a car. And further on, it's pushed me to have works published in magazines, 
win statewide awards for photography and to write that feature length screenplay. And looking back, I don't think that I would have had that urge had I not gone to this school. I've been given the ability to reach with no limits for what it is I desire. And that is more valuable than what could ever be given on a piece of paper. So I'd like to thank Mr. Wenling, the teachers and staff, for advancing me intellectually, artistically, and existentially. Thank you. everyone and welcome to the end of my high school journey. <laughs> my name is Lily Sekovic and I'm very grateful to be speaking on your behalf today. Capital Area School for the Arts Charter School has made me the person I could only see myself becoming in my dreams. Every day, I was surrounded by all kinds of art and talent and creativity. Oh, I can't forget about my remarkable principals and staff. I can't express... Oh, God. I can't express enough how much I miss Ms. Chambers and telling her all my stories of why I was late, but <laughs> what I will miss the most is the secret candy drawer she kept for us. <laughs> Sorry, I just ratted you out there. <laughs> On a serious note, for those of you who don't know, in addition to being a dancer student at CASA, I was also a synchronized figure skater. <laughs> Why can't I do this? Ms. Chris, it's not your fault. <laughs> okay. I was also a synchronized figure skater with a time-consuming, nationally competitive team, and if it wasn't for Mr. Wendling's support and approval for all the educational trip days for competitions and the support from all of the teachers and staff, especially Ms. V, I wouldn't have been able to pursue my dream during my high school career, a dream that would be extremely difficult for me to do at any other public school. I've attended, <laughs> oh God. I've attended CASA for the past four years and to this day I still remember my first day. Yeah, I remember the nerves and how scary it was for 14 year old me to go to a school in a city that I thought was big at the time. But I especially remember it because it was the day that I met my best friend. Charlie. <laughs> As soon as we met, I knew this was going to be the beginning of a new friendship, and I was right. Charlie has been my best friend from our very first day to our very last. Of course, we had our typical friend fights that we thought it was going to be the end, but Miss Hill was always right. <laughs> or as she'd say, we'd get over it. <laughs> and we always did. Our memories were truly unforgettable. I will never forget the time when she snuck in a large iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts into the dance dressing room junior year <laughs> and she put it right on the edge of her cubby and before she even got to take the first sip, <laughs> it fell on the floor. <laughs> Next thing I know, all of the dancers are throwing in leotards and tights to clean up the whole mess while other dancers distracted Miss B. <laughs> She didn't come into the dressing room, she didn't see it, but I don't know how she never knew because that dressing room smelled like coffee for a good month. <laughs> but hey, teamwork makes the dream work, and us dancers are certainly one big team. We always have each other's back, and if it weren't for CASA, I would have never made the friends that I did. Charlie Miller, Jordy Allen, Lizzie Steele, and Shay Leo are the people who made my experience at CASA truly unforgettable. 
these best friends that I made at CASA, no matter what path we all take, I know they are the friends that will last me a lifetime. Thank you, Calroy Area School for the Arts, for shaping me into the person I have become. It's been a blessing. Lastly, Miss Chris, I've said hello to you every morning, but today I'm saying goodbye. Mom, put your phone away. I already told Allie to record. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robin Clawwater. Um, okay, hopefully I don't cry as much as Lily did. <laughs> our entire lives, we've just wanted to grow up. We wanted to be like our babysitters and our older siblings and the kids in the grade above us. And our entire lives, adults have told us not to wish our lives away and not to want to grow up. But before we knew it, we became the babysitters and the kids that were looked up to by the grade below us. Now we're sitting here today, taking our first steps into adulthood. And thanks to our amazing teachers, our families in the audience, and each other, we're ready for whatever life decides to throw at us. All of our journeys started the same way. We all auditioned, we all got accepted, and we all showed up on our first day having no idea how crazy the adventure we were about to go on would be. Everything in our lives has led up to this point in this room about to graduate high school. I don't think a single one of us on our first day at CASA expected a tiny building in the corner of Strawberry Square to become such a big part of our hearts. For a lot of us, there were a lot of ups and downs. But, I can, but standing here, looking out at all of you, I can honestly say that there is no one I would rather go through those ups and downs with. CASA has taught me a lot of things, academically, of course, but also a lot about myself. CASA has taught me how to work with others, the importance of showing people how much they mean to you, no matter how much time has passed, that there is no challenge we cannot handle, and that no matter what has happened in the past or what will happen in the future, we will always have each other's backs. Mr. Boyer always says that we're like a family, and I'm so incredibly lucky to call each and every one of you a part of my family. I look back on this year, and I think about all of the good times we had, like all of the school dances, all the field trips, Tech Week of RIA shows, as excruciating as they may have seemed, I think we can all admit that it's the best week of the whole process, all of the tangents Mr. Boyer went on during music, <laughs> the SpaghettiO incident, and so much more. We're all growing up and changing, but the one thing that will always stay the same is all of the crazy fun memories we've shared. While I look back on all of the great times we've had here, I can't help but think of the chances I didn't take, the things I never did, and the words I may never get to say. I want to end by challenging each and every one of you not to leave here today with anything left unsaid. For some of us, this may be the last time we ever see each other. Don't waste it. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Lily already got me going. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Shay Leo. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good evening, fellow graduates, students, teachers, families, everyone that came tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have been enrolled at Capital Area School for the Arts Charter School since sophomore year. I originally transferred from my old high school at the end of freshman year to come to CASA. And boy, let me tell you, this was the best decision for me ever. CASA is an open community and the most accepting place I have ever been in my life. When I first came to CASA, I first did not know anyone at all. And it was a huge change for me, and a step in the right direction, if I might say. By the end of the first week, I had already made friends, found my place, and holy moly, it was like a breath of fresh air for me. It felt immediately like a home away from home. 
I'm a music major, and I just learned so much throughout the years in knowing more about my talent and working with others that shared the same passion as me. I love CASA because I made the friends that I have today. Lily Zekovic, Charlie Miller, Lizzie Steele, Bianca Ortiz Cologne, Victoria LeBoy, Robin Clawwitter, and my amazing and crazy music family that, was, that have truly made this experience the highlight of my time being here. I want to thank Mr. Boyer for expanding my music passion and letting me be creative in a place where my voice was heard. My family thought it was the perfect fit for me, and it absolutely was. I want to thank my mother, Kathy Leo, and my father, Michael Leo, for supporting me and making my dreams possible throughout the years of high school and just being there when I needed them the most. I love you guys. <laughs> Growing through the years, I was always someone and still am someone that is passionate about being here. Oh, did I lose my place? <laughs> it's hard to say that every day at the beginning of senior year, I was so ready to leave and graduate. Now I just don't want it to end just yet. It truly hit me the other day when singing in the music room, it would be my last time I sang in that little room, in the little purple room, in music. The experiences, the experiences and the feelings from the school is the most life-changing thing ever. Cass is not like any other school. It's somewhere where you can feel safe and be yourself and also create yourself more. No pun intended there. No other high school is like us, and I'm proud to say that this place was where I spent most of my high school career. It's hard to say that I'm leaving, going to college later this year, but to think that Cass will always be my high school that I graduated from is going to be the best memory growing up. It's too surreal that this is where we all leave and go follow our dreams, to part ways from CASA. This was a truly fantastic years and moments that stood out and helped us define who we are in the real world today. And looking in the future, I see us all succeeding and chasing our dreams. Know that once you're a part of CASA, you will always be a part of CASA. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Also, I had this deal with Miss Leonard that I get her coffee for the past few years, and I have not done that yet. So by the end of this program today, I'm probably going to go run Dunkin' Donuts and get her a nice coffee that she, I promised her like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, as Ella G. Generous once said at her graduation, follow your passion, stay true to yourself, and never follow someone else's path. Unless you're lost in the woods and you see a path, then by all means, you should follow that path. <laughs> Um, <laughs> be true to yourself and everything will be fine. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bianca Ortiz Clone and I was in the music department. CASA, our home for four years. Four years of change, growth, maturity, and lessons. Our time is here, seniors. We did it. Four years gone, and now it is our time to walk the stage and start the next chapter of our lives. We all have strived to get to where we are, and we will all do amazing things. 1,460 days ago, we walked in, our freshman year. I know now a bit blurry, but a start of the end. My time here at CASA has been one of the most amazing times of my life. I will miss the many times the music class bursted into roaring clouds of random songs, or the times that art had their amazing projects scattered all over the floors that you can even walk through the hallways. Let's not forget the film students, walking around taking really cool videos of the students and teachers. The dancers, getting everyone hyped up with popular dances. Theater, wearing their unique costumes and writing, writing all of our amazing, very wonderful, very, really cool <laughs> scenes for our end of the year show. We are all one big working machine. We are a family. Ironically, CASA in Spanish means home, and that's exactly what this place was for me. The staff and teachers here are one of a kind. They help you grow and flourish in ways you never thought you could. They will all give a hand where one is needed. Here you are supposed to create yourself. Well, I will say I most definitely did, with the help of you all. I was one of the lucky ones to get to be here for all of my high school years, and I will say I would never trade that time for anything. I could never ask for such an amazing experience. CASA has given me confidence, happiness, and friends that will forever stand by my side. 
I will forever hold with me the time I spent in this school, the memories I've shared with you, and the readiness I now have for the next step in my life. Thank you, Mom, for really pushing me all these years. Thank you, Mr. Boyer. And thank you, Mr. Wendling, for being the most amazing principal we could have all asked for and running the school we all grew up in. Thank you, students, for sharing this time with one another and growing as one. Thank you, teachers, for keeping us on track and making sure we all got our cold done on time, <laughs> or we would not be here. <laughs> it's our time. Let's walk this stage with pride. Let's walk this stage with confidence. Let us become the young adults we all inspire to be. It's our time, class of 2018. Hi, I'm Morgan Calhoun. I was a music major, and I have a goal to not get upset, so I'm asking you please laugh at my jokes. I know they're bad, but humor me, please. <laughs> um, high school is four entire years of a person's life that consists of a constant complaint about schedules, schoolwork, or any activity that does not involve sleeping, honestly. Parents, you know. <laughs> Now, as I'm sure you can all imagine, this absolutely necessary amount of whining is very overwhelming and tiring for us. It takes hard work to reach this level of pure dissatisfaction in our lives. <laughs> Four straight years of this really gets the best of a person. Somehow, when it's all said and done, though, those aren't the things that this class is thinking about when they're standing on the stage tonight. I think we've made a mistake, as I assure you almost any graduate from any class has. As students, we have been focusing on the wrong things throughout the years. We've centered in on the time that we could have been spending somewhere else instead of the people we were with in the moment. Um, focused on the product of our work instead of enjoying the journey it took to get there. And dwelling in the negative instead of, mind my pun, seeing the wonderful. <laughs> I also, in this moment, should be taking my own advice and focusing on something other than the mistakes that have been made throughout the years. I remember this class when we were all freshmen, and trust me, we've improved. Again, parents, you know. <laughs> we came into this experience having no idea what to expect, but somehow adapting. And we may have committed ourselves to attend more school than the average student, but we spent it creating an amazing and unique show. And I don't know about you, but I don't know many other people or anyone else, really, that can do that. And we may have been obsessive over the product of our work, but hey, at least it means we cared. And in fact, I know a lot of people tonight are sitting here thinking over all the times that we didn't care because we're frustrated or tired or probably hangry, to be honest. <laughs> but looking back, we realized that we did care a lot more than we thought we did, and that's what really matters. I know that no one here in this room tonight is sitting here thinking that our phase and our lives has been anything other than wonderful. We all individually have had a vision of what our lives would be since we are little, and maybe they've changed over the last four years, or maybe this experience has just solidified that plan for you. But either way, CASA has shaped us into the people we are today, and we should all recognize how far we've come since that first step we took into this school's doors as we take our last step out of those very same doors tonight. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lily Leonard. Uh, when I first auditioned for the CASA Dance Department, I had no idea how far this little school could take me or the opportunities and tasks it would present me. I've made best friends. I've made close connections with my teachers. I've gotten a performance together in three days. <laughs> and in all, I found a home. Every single person in this school has gone through a personalized journey. And every single step along the way has helped build us all to where we are now and where we're going in the next few months. Switching to a different school for high school changed each of our journeys. Imagine how different your story, your child's story, or your relative's story would have been had they stayed at one of the 31 other districts that are represented at CASA. Our stories have been changed, hopefully for the better, to involve each other. Having been on one of these journeys, I can honestly say that I wouldn't have changed this experience for the world or the people I've experienced it with. Performances at CASA, specifically our CASA Live, has shown us that we can't be scared to do the seemingly impossible. We can't be afraid of failure because if we tried to color within the lines, no pun intended, this school wouldn't be the beautiful conglomeration of talents represented in front of you. 
Fellow students, I can't read this. <laughs> As your journey continues, please don't forget all the valuable life lessons this school has sublimely given you throughout the years and never stop creating yourself. Thank you, Capital Area School for the Arts, for the most meaningful high school chapter of my journey I could have ever asked for and everyone involved in that process. Hi, I'm Christina Johns, and I was in the theater program at CASA. As I look back on my time at CASA, I'm amazed at how much this school has changed me. When I walked through CASA's double doors four years ago, I never could have imagined the impact this little school would have on me. Of course, I've improved in my art and academics, but more importantly, I have found a family. This school has become my second home. The love and support that the teachers, faculty, and students all give each other here is unlike anything else I've ever experienced. The teachers and staff at CASA truly care about the success of each and every student that walks through its doors. I would not be where I am today if it were not for the support of these amazing people. This school is such a special place, and I can't believe that I've been lucky enough to spend the past four years of my life here. From the long week rehearsing at Whitaker for 12 hours every day, to pieing teachers in the face, to spraying silly string in the cafeteria, to taking pictures with tourists while filming, to yoga Fridays with Mrs. Weitzman, to karaoke in theater class, to having a beach potluck in the hallway, and jumping up and down in the wings of, Itaker, of Whitaker during the end of your show because of how proud we are of our friends and our school. I have countless memories of this amazing place. The close community that we have formed here is something that I will cherish forever. The students, teachers, and faculty of Capital Area School for the Arts have made their mark on my life, and I am forever changed because of it. The things that I have learned here go beyond just academics and my art area. I have learned to be unapologetically myself. I have learned how to work with others. I have learned what it means to be selfless. I have learned how to truly love others. I have learned the value of hard work. I have learned that things will always be okay in the end. I have learned to trust my instincts. I have learned how to create something bigger than myself. I have learned that a family is not only made up of those actually related to you. And I have learned that anything is possible. Class of 2018, as we all move on to bigger and better things, let's remember everything that we have learned here. Never take CASA for granted. We owe so much to this little school. Graduates, I can't wait to see where you all go. Your passion, dedication, and talent that made this school great will serve you well in the future. Go out and set the world on fire. I really admire the eight students that wanted to speak tonight because it takes a lot of bravery to do that. And it also says a lot about the school, I think, that they're willing to share their emotions with all of you. Um, I'm super proud to be the leader of this school. As you see, it's very emotional. There, if you come into the school any time of day, there will be a tear somewhere. Um, but that's what makes us special. And I, I wouldn't change that for the world. So to those eight students that, that spoke, plus Azure and, and Gage and Bianca, of course, for singing, thank you so much for participating. <laughs> We're going to switch two things around in the program. But before we do that, I have one more thing to announce. And we cannot go through this uh, ceremony tonight with all of you here without recognizing our retiring teacher this year. CASA uh, will definitely not be the same without Mrs. Cagle, our visual art teacher. So let's all give her a round of applause. This is probably the kids' favorite part of the ceremony. We're going to watch the video. It's about nine minutes of enjoyment.
What I will miss most about CASA is getting to jam with friends every day. Probably the friends, the friendly banter and everything that we got going on. There are a lot of good things about this school, mostly just the antics that happen in between, well, between the students. The people, especially in theater, like all the stuff we've done, and also um, just a community feeling. I miss the people. Probably the people, like, I mean, I've known them since ninth grade and kind of make bonds with them, so it'll be weird not seeing them every day. Probably the, the bonds between my friends. Definitely my friends. How close all the students are and all my friends that I've made in the past couple of years. I'm gonna miss most of the staff. They're really nice and all very helpful. People and the freedom and the opportunities and like the supportive atmosphere and like the community feeling. The people and some, some of the teachers, just some of them. Some of them. <laughs> it's all like a whole big family and it's just so welcoming and it's accepting here that I just felt right at home. Being around such talented artists everywhere and nice people. The people, there's a lot of characters here. Probably the people, since we are such a small school, we get all close. I'm gonna miss my dancers. I'm gonna miss my dancers too. I'm gonna miss all of those guys so much. And Mrs. B. Definitely the companionship among everybody. I mean, we all, ugh. Yeah, that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's less of a school, more of a family. But the thing I'm gonna miss most is the uh, family environment. I feel like I'm at home when I'm at CASA. The variety of people that are here. Because you get people from everywhere. Probably Harrisburg, actually. I really like the city. And I don't really wanna leave, but. I'm going to. I'm going to miss the overall community that we've built at CASA. Oh my goodness, gravy! <laughs> I've made a lot of friends and I love them with all my heart. My favorite CASA memory is probably when Charlie spilled a large Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the dressing room and we cleaned it all up with leotards, tights, and a couple of tissues without Mrs. B knowing. Sorry, Mrs. B. Gosh, there are a lot, but probably Kai doing a giraffe impression. Oh, there was this one time that I uh, jumped into the water at a, at oh, a lake, yeah. that one. and I got soaked, and I was wet all day. My favorite cast of memory is when I got pooped on by a bird while we were walking down to the bookstore. Finding cockroaches in the temple bathroom. My favorite cast of memory is definitely the pep speech that Mr. Boyer gave to us before our junior end of year. It's definitely going to be my freshman year, the first time we had open mic in the cafeteria. Um, there was this kid, Fox, and he did this really cool beatboxing, and it was really funny. It was a good time. Backstage during Cast Alive, when Chase decided to get up on the tower and make noises at anybody that came through the door. My favorite cast of memory is probably turning Mr. Corman's LinkedIn profile picture into memes in film class, even when he told us not to use it anymore. I'd have to say end of the year, just working together with everybody and coming together to build this big show that we put on. The cockroach that Jesse tried to pick up. Probably the shows, the end of year shows in particular. The first thing that comes to mind is Zach Banger dressed up as Bertha, the mother of all Disney princesses. Keep on being called Jaqui 24 hours a day. I guess everyone's a good memory. <laughs> I'd probably tell my freshman self just to be a little bit more confident because I was just so awkward with talking to everybody. I would tell my freshman self to make more friends at Castle. Don't put eyeliner on the bottom lid of your eye. Take all of the risks that you didn't want to because sometimes they can turn out better. Don't question anything you're going to be told. It will all help. To be willing to take risks and just put yourself out there no matter what. Not take so many things to heart, because I tend to do that. You're an idiot. Don't write about sad stuff. Uh, it's not interesting. Nobody really wants to hear it. Just be positive. <laughs> Go to CASA your freshman year, and don't wait until your junior year. 
Oh, tell her to not wear makeup because she's not good at it yet. <laughs> Dressing up as Santa Claus for Halloween is not as funny as you think it is. It goes by quickly. Stop complaining about things and learn to run with ideas rather than trying to fix them. Be more engaged in class, just be more engaged. Freshman year Melissa, you made the right decision. Go to CASA. <laughs> to just calm down. It, high school seems like it's a lot, but looking back on it now, it was just like, whatever. Be more outgoing when it comes to my artwork and try harder. Just to not get caught up and love everything, just kind of focus on myself. Just be yourself. When everything seems to be going bad, just remember that it's only for four years. I just tell my freshman self to calm down. Nothing is as bad as it seems like it is and not everything is a huge deal. Don't lie in your resume. Be honest about everything. Don't worry. Nobody actually cares about what happens, you know? It's, it's pretty laid back. Do your best, but it doesn't matter if you mess up because it's an accepting school and no one's gonna judge you for it. Continue to be inspired by the things around you and let them change you. You don't get any less annoying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I look forward to the most meeting new people and getting to actually like put my art to use and like what I want to do with it. Sleeping. I look forward to seeing where everybody ends up because people that I've gotten really close with, they're going to be doing amazing things. Escalators that work and just college in general, it's going to be a good time. After CASA, I'm just getting ready to move into Lebanon Valley to dual major in music education and audio production. The thing I'm looking forward to most after CASA is just using the skills that I learned here and applying them out in the real world and into my job and the field that I'm going into. I'm looking forward to college and um, I'm really looking forward to whatever career I get into. Traveling. I look forward to meeting new people and doing new things and going new places. College. Just, and the end of school. Look forward to uh, being an adult in the world. I'm going to college and moving out of Harrisburg. Sorry, Harrisburg. My number one goal for life really is to travel and see the world and make an impact. I want to be able to create things and do it well. Make a difference, I guess, positively. Uh, probably I'm looking forward to work somewhere in broadcasting, like maybe for a local sports team. If I'm lucky enough, a professional sports team. I'll be in the booth, you know, being like, strike three, you're out. That's going to be me. I want to be a musician. I'm going to become a lawyer. To build wells for the pygmies in the Congo. I want to go to med school, and I want to become a trauma physician, so yeah. Well, what I hope to do is to eventually become a paleontologist um, and just sort of travel and experiment and you know, learn new things about the world. I think I want to be a writer. I'm uh, planning to become a marine biologist. I want to become a neonatal nurse. Uh, be a music therapist, I guess. I want to be an entertainment lawyer. I'm going to be a dentist, so come get your teeth fixed by me. <laughs> I'd like to be somebody, somebody that people respect, some, somebody that people can look up to and learn from. I would like to build my own film and video business, um, Stoke Cinematics, 717-954-6090. Uh, I want to do filmmaking, that's what I still want to do. I'm going to get a degree in business management and then hopefully I'll start some kind of business. I want to pursue theater uh, any way I can. I want to do politics and public service and help people improve their lives. Become an underwater archaeologist. I want to be a writer. Just explore my passion and see where it goes. I want to not regret anything, live my life to the fullest. Next, we have four awards to present. Students, when I call your name, please come up and accept your award. The first award is the United States Figure Skating Platinum Level Achievement Award, and that's given to Lily Sekovic.
I have two scholarships to give out. The Peggy A. Grove scholarships are given to two graduating seniors who are going to attend a post-secondary institution and who have shown good citizenship and a drive to work hard. This year, each student will receive a check for $1,800. These two checks are given to Samantha Buffington and Elijah Heineman. Lastly, I would like to welcome Rosemary Brown to the podium to present our last award. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce, I'm sorry, to present the Zachary Moore Music, Mo Music Memorial Fund uh, Scholarship uh, this is named uh, in honor of my son, which we lost, who we lost too soon at 19. And um, Zachary was very much into music and wanted to pursue audio engineering. So this is a very special night for me to be able to um, support a student who is going to be moving forward in their career. And we are very pleased to announce the scholarship goes to Morgan Calhoun. <laughs> this folder, and then you can give her the whole folder. Oh, and this scholarship is for $1,000. Thank, Thank you, Rosemary. Now it begins. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of authority vested in me as the CEO of Capital Area School for the Arts Charter School, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of CASA Charter School, and I take great pleasure in recommending to you the graduation class of 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Elizabeth Moulet, President of the Capital Area School for the Arts Board of Trustees. Thank you, Mr. Wendling. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as president of the Board of Trustees, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2018 for the conferring of diplomas. In recognition of the acknowledgement by the Board of Trustees, I hereby declare by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees as Chief Executive Officer of CASA Charter School that the school diplomas may be conferred to the graduating class of 2018. It is now time for the graduates to take the stage for the presentation of their diplomas. First row, please stand. Samantha Nicole Buffington. Morgan Marie Calhoun. Samantha M. Carney. <laughs> Lily Aaron Sekovic.
Caitlin B. Chavis. Samuel Allen Colosimo. <laughs> Sydney Elise Durand. Margaret Mary Estrada. <laughs> Sage A. Evans. Brady M. Fryerick. Yeah. Kai R. Gilkerson Heineman. Nicholas Lee Giordano. <laughs> First row, you may be seated. Second row. Allison Eve Gregory. <laughs> Gabrielle Harries. Rusty Henry. <laughs> Joelle Beverly Hits. Alexa Cecile Hoover. Adam Clay Hoy.
Elijah Alexander Heinemann. Christina Elizabeth Johns. <laughs> Aiden M. Kane. Robin Elizabeth Clawwitter. <laughs> Shay Kiefer Leo. Lily K. Leonard. <laughs> Second row, you may be seated. Third row. Jesse William Lyons. <laughs> Jillian Joy Manster. Harrison Israel McKenna. <laughs> Gannon David Metzler. Benjamin N. Miller. Charlie D. Miller. <laughs> Tyler Lee Miller. Mary Rose E. Monahan.
Alec Joseph Nemitz. Alora Michelle Neumeyer. Bianca Marie Ortiz Colon. Justin Andrew Rawlings. Third row, you may sit. Next row, Ayla M. Reed Porter. Hannah Elizabeth Reen. <laughs> Jaquez James Robinson. Kalima Selena Sa. <laughs> Azure Nicole Sally. Melissa E. Sally. Gage Merrick Boston Selvey. <laughs> Cassidy V. Smith. Evelyn Stainer. Yeah. 
Andrew Ryan Stokes. Yep. Taylor Nicole Stossel. Alexandra Lee Swingler. Throw, you may be seated. Last row, Molly Temple. Jewel May Thomas. Han Wien. Just a quick note that over the next 365 days, I'll be obsessing whether we should make that quicker by not stopping between every name, and I'll come to the same conclusion next year, that we just can't. They work so hard, they all deserve their time on stage. So I hope you didn't mind the time. I would like to thank all of the parents, family members, friends, board members, and staff for your endless support of not only the school, but these students. Also, thank you to all of the students for your impactful remarks tonight. Graduates, it's now time to move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left side. Let me be the very first to offer my warmest congratulations to you for a prosperous and successful future. This day signifies a new beginning for each and every one of you. In addition, you have earned the right to be associated with a special group of individuals. You will forever be a member of the fifth graduating class of CASA Charter School. This day marks a wonderful milestone, not only in your lives, but also in the lives of our school. I wish you all the very best as you go into your new lives as young adults. Enjoy the rest of your day of celebration with your family and friends, and come back to visit us soon, but not tomorrow. Congratulations. Graduates, you can stand and receive your applause from the audience.